Hello, Scorpios. This is your reading for the 4th through the 5th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. All right. <laughs> Flip it over here. I don't know if y'all can see that. We have Temperance. Hmm. Trying to gain some balance and harmony in your life. Um, maybe some of you are doing this by yourself after you know going through a tumultuous time, or either you guys are really deciding that you know you want to work with someone, you know, gain harmony in a relationship, connection with someone, or somebody wanting to do this with you. Somebody that you guys feel very attached to here. Okay, um, I think that maybe there was a level of attachment that you maybe felt was was unhealthy with something or someone, and so now you're just trying to like you know basically level out your energy. Okay, because we all have you know ups and downs, so nobody's perfect here. Nobody's going to be in the light all the time. Yeah. Finding the strength to face your fears. You have all majors here so far. So a lot going on around you guys. Um, there, there's a struggle I feel that you are trying to, to face head on. Capricorn and Leo energy here now. And the lovers. Mm. All majors. There's a decision here on the table I feel um, regarding someone else okay and it's it's either to turn your back on this very strong connection that you feel with someone or either sorry guys um this video cut off and i didn't even know it had cut off until i had finished this reading um so the cards are already laid out the rest of them so i'm just going to go through okay so here I'm going to pick it up. Um, either you guys have turned your back on someone and just trying to work on yourself or you have turned your back on someone else here for another connection. Okay. So with the Eight of Swords, it's like you're really kind of, um, you, you're worried about if, you know, you can be the person that um, you want to be if you can be the person that the other person needs for you to be and it's like really kind of got you bogged down here and worry about this now this may have been someone with the four of cups that denied your love before did not accept you for who you were did not accept the love that you were trying to offer or this could have been you doing this to someone else um, and, and now it's like you're really trying to rethink you know did you make the right choice did you make the right decision here because this was a very committed relationship I feel at one point in time that you guys or either this person turned their back on before okay something that you felt very passionate about you're very attracted to this person and them you alright so then with the seven of swords here this was actually a situation I feel that either you left this individual before for someone else um, you know cheated lied deceived whatever or they did this to you but the fact of the matter is um, whoever was the one that did this they're coming back okay but keep this in mind too with the seven of swords nine times out of ten whoever did this in this relationship between you and another person they've also done this to someone else okay nine times out of ten but they're coming back your way because um or you're going back their way but the thing is somebody here is not sure about if the other person will accept them at this point okay because the other person feels like they gave everything that they should have given before like they gave their all and the other person completely took it for granted okay so somebody again with the two of wands here is coming back because they they feel like you know this is this is a relationship that um, could be very successful for them okay um, they kind of regret and I want to say regret 
um, what they've done here. But the thing is, I don't feel like this person is truly um, aware of, you know, how they interact with people in general. Okay. Because in doing right by um, the other person, they, they are nine times out of ten doing wrong by someone else in order to make things right here which is still not right okay so be mindful of that whether it's you doing this or whether it's the other person here but the fact of the matter is you know both of you I feel like were hurt in this situation regardless of who did what um, and somebody's really just you know taking some time out right now to gather their thoughts to really think about the things that were done um, how they can move on from here how can they go forward from here Okay, so we have Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Cancer, um, Gemini, I feel Leo energy, Capricorn, and Sagittarius, guys. Okay, and sorry about the cutoff, um, but it takes a lot of energy for these videos, so I didn't um, just want to do it over. All right, guys, so I will be speaking with you soon.